Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In the last part, we looked at an introduction to jQuery. However, let's go now on and look at an example that I've quickly written out. I'm going to go over to this tab in my browser. And you can see that we've got a paragraph of text here that just says you can see this paragraph. Now, I've created a button here which actually hides the paragraph and then allows the paragraph to be shown again. So this is probably um, an extreme, well, it's an, a, a simple example, but an effective example of how powerful and easy jQuery can be to use. Now, this is essentially going to hide the paragraph and then allow me to reshow it while changing the button text. So if I go ahead and click hide, you can see that the paragraph has been hidden. If I go ahead and now click show, you can see that the paragraph is shown again. And you'll notice that the button text changes as well. Now in JavaScript, particularly with the animation you see as it fades um, up and scrolls up, um, this would be extremely uh, tedious to program and quite long to program and, and write out. However, the code that I'm actually using is extremely simple. Now don't worry too much about the code um, for now. Uh, a bit later on, I'm going to show you how to implement jQuery into your page and we're going to look at writing our first example. But I'm just going to go over to my text editor to show you how easy uh, this is to write. Now the first thing we have is a button here and that's the button that we uh, use to hide and display the message. Uh, the value you can see at the moment is hide and that's changed in toggle.js. Um, I've given it an ID so I can reference when the button uh, click event happens. You'll see that there's no JavaScript code in the actual uh, part of my um, page that we see. So for example, the uh, input button and the paragraph. Every time I click a button, this is handled by this toggle.js file. You'll also notice that I've included jQuery, uh, the jQuery library into my page. So let's take a look at toggle.js. Now the first thing that's happening is we are looking for a click. We're then taking the value of the text box, oh, sorry, the uh, button, and then we're using the toggle function to uh, hide the um, paragraph. We're also then checking the, st uh, the value of the um, button and then changing it accordingly. So just with this short code, we've achieved a, an effect which is extremely uh, usable on your website. For example, if you have a message that you want to show to uh, a user, but you might want to give them the option to hide it. Now this can also be done with a link. It doesn't need to be done with a button. It's extremely flexible to use. So with this example, you can see how easy it is to actually implement jQuery and start to look for events happening on your page. You'll also see that I've got jQuery.js, which I've just pasted into a text editor and, uh, and actually uh, included on my index.php page. So at the start of the tutorial, I did mention if you don't understand this, then that's absolutely not a problem. This was just an example to show you how we can actually use jQuery uh, and how easy it is. Now, this is an example of an animation effect. Um, however, later on, we're going to be looking at Ajax and how we can actually take data uh, and pass it to another PHP file, uh, which will allow us to actually uh, create a more dynamic and useful uh, website. So we're going to be looking at that a bit later.